From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. They're hoping it's the beginning of a downward coronavirus trend. Health officials reporting only nine cases for Monday following several days of high double-digit numbers. Dr. Marceline Del Regis, the chair of the Vaccine Consultative Committee, had a press briefing yesterday dealing with the reality of the situation. I say to you, citizens and residents, we are in a race against time. The pandemic is not over. COVID-19 is continuously presenting new challenges. Health Minister Wells is blaming the recent increase in cases on Easter festivities. Dr. Del Rey just told the press briefing that people have to step up and help out. Vaccinations alone will not get us out of this pandemic. We must simultaneously address the increase in cases, the identification of resistant strains, and adherence to the public health measures if we are to win this race and return to a sense of normalcy. Eight of Monday's cases in the capital, the other in Bimini, they continue to keep an eye on those hospital numbers. 46 persons being treated now, four in intensive care. The death toll remains at 194. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. There's other corona-related news. Health officials admitting they are concerned about variants of the virus spreading. Education officials say there's no cluster of cases in the public education system. They have confirmed that five persons, students and school staff, have tested positive in the past two weeks, all at different institutions. More than 21,000 persons have now gotten their first vaccine shots. Police continue their investigations into that recent shooting incident here in the capital, which left six men dead and a woman in child in hospital. National Security Minister Dame says he's disturbed by social media reports that police may have had something to do with this. He is cautioning the public about spreading what he calls unsubstantiated claims. Immigration officials are looking into allegations made by a woman that she was raped while being held at the Carmichael Road Detention Center. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, a frontal system across Florida sending some related weather into the extreme northwestern Bahamas. Some showers possible in that area. Elsewhere, partly sunny. Highs in the mid-80s. 80 at Freeport, 83 in the capital, 85 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The sea's 2 to 4 feet. There's a low tide now. The next high around 4 this afternoon. Currently partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the low to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business... Nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. Wednesday's World News headlines the verdict is in in the George Floyd trial. The police officer found guilty on all charges against him. He's facing years in prison. There's plenty of reaction to the verdict worldwide, and the Tribune has a complete report. India continues its battle with the spread of the coronavirus, reporting more than 2,000 deaths and more than 200,000 cases for a single day. The country now facing increased restrictions to try and slow that spread. The dust from that St. Vincent volcano eruption now covering parts of the Caribbean, producing hazy conditions, some of that over the Bahamas. Tribune's gas tracker prices, middle of the week, Shell 486, SO 488, Rubus $4.93 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. There will not be a team Bahamas for this year's World Relays. Find out why in the Tribune Sports. And the fate of this year's Carifta Games could be decided next month. 
Read about that also. Buddy Heal had 11 points last night and another Sacramento loss in the NBA. Read about that and get the rest of the NBA news. And get the latest on Jazz Chisholm and the Marlins in Major League Baseball. They lost to the Orioles last night. Read about that and get the rest of the baseball news. And the latest on the Olympics also in the Tribune Sports Wednesday. All of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.